Okay guys, it's uh, Sunday ng gabi and you know what that means? It's time for a bonus video here on this channel and I give you the video that you have all been anticipating since I brought it out sa Made in Malacanang reaction video which is going to be live in a bit. Pero, enough about me. Let's talk about something regarding this sa letterbox. So, if you're seeing my screen here, it's a letterbox page. Letterbox is yung site ng ma na mga would-be film reviewers telling them ano yung ano review ano yung kanilang opinion and they can place their own ratings there here and i think nung nag-check ako kasi sa Made in Malacañang na may late may letterbox entry na sila tapos 0.6 yung stars so isip ko why not check ko na lang yung mga ano react nga ako sa letterbox content ng mga Viva Max movies yung mga ni-review ko dito sa channel na to and tingnan natin what does the letterbox community think sa mga bold films sa mga next generation bold films well it's not exactly what I think it's gonna be so we got here Taya which scores 2.4 in the ratings so it's a weighted average of 2.4 based on 57 ratings as check natin yung mga ano yung mga popular review ha Hindi ko nakita uh, ni Shandy Guzman. Matik dagdag one star. <laughs> but seriously, okay naman siya umarte. Tsaka lang gumawa. So, two star ang putik. So, two star. Yeah, justice for Shandy Guzman. Toot! Okay. Bakit ganito ang trato sa mga babae sa palabas na to? Sobra nilang objectified. At least yung ibang sexy films, binigyan naman sila ng karakter ng mga stars nila. Dito, wala eh. Para silang props. Well, well, Mr. Miggs, if you, kung ikaw ay manood talaga ng taya, post na pa lang, alam mo na, objective pa yung mga babae dito. Okay. Recent reviews. Newbound appreciation for this due to being disappointed with the director's latest output, Ciclo Hugas. Hugas is so bad. Let's... You know what? Tingnan natin yung review ng Hugas mamaya. I'm starting to accept that sex scenes the way the film presented them as glimpses in the simply sex starved, probably porn drenched brain. They do add up to a kind of filthy desktop cinema that overlaps itself and what we were led to believe is a heist film then sort of takes over from there. It works to some extent in a meta, self-reflexive kind of way. There's a cleverness and sleight of hand in the heist degenerating it was Okay The one half Hindi ko pa rin alam ba't pinood ko itong Nasakay ng oras ko Parte na pinood ko yung ibang parts na ako Magal pa rin Very fun movie, killer soundtrack Well at least this guy is Has a positive review The anti-letterbox 250 Filipino version Filipino sino ito dito Grabe naman, anti-letterbox. <laughs> Nandito lahat siguro nung ano, okay. Ah, Taya isn't really bad. I actually like Taya. Maganda kasi yung ano. Pag tinignan mo in its concept, yung tatlong babae na to, si Jella Cuenca, si Angelica Kang, saka si AJ Raval. They represent parang yung ano. Si Jella Cuenca, siya yung last. Kasi... Do, yun yung ano, pinagtitripan talaga pin, yung pinapanaginipan ni Sean diba? pero ang inibig ni Sean talaga ay si Nanette, si AJ Raval and then that's last love nakalimutan ko yung kay Kang eh, pero I think it's Libog <laughs> last love and Libog kasi basta basta lang siya nakipag ano talik kay Kang sa dulo which leads to, leads to his death so yeah yun yung symbolism ng taya the three main parang ano yun yung three L's 
which ayun rather yun yung ano yun yung point ng kwento na tong taya ang pangit lang yung Coco Jam let's go with Eva Eva I believe Eva is a good film wala uh, siya sa to Eva Eva 2.4 what when Eva gets involved in a steamy threesome with a housewife and her lady boys she really she has to choose only one with what one half 2.4 Eva is the best Vivo Max film of all time walang kwento walang kwenta pero mas bet ko tong si Angelica Kang kaysa kay AJ Rabal mas okay mga tapos game sa mga pangasa eksena bro ano walang kwento May kwento ang Eva, in-explore ni, ni yung katulang, ang pangalan ni, ano, ni Angelica ang dito. Eva, in-explore ni Eva yung sexuality niya. Confused siya kung sinong gusto niya, si Houseboy, si Lauro, o yung lady boss niya na si ano, Victoria. Yun yung kwento dun. Okay? The sex itself is the story. You know, I think a lot of people were distracted by all the sex that was going on in this film, which is admittedly a lot. It's a huge blind spot that I think is part of Vima Max's fault. What I'm going to say isn't even overanalyzing the film. Everything I'm going to say happens in plain sight. Eva is an interesting film. It ultimately doesn't exist as well. In fact, the last 10 minutes virtually ruined the whole thing. But that doesn't mean it has nothing to say. The film established milieu with servants and household. Whether the master is completely different ecosystem. Eh, yung sinabi natin ni Nico David, yung parang ano, commanding masyado si Sab dito, si Victoria. medyo dominant yung personality niya kahit na pwede siya makipagtalik kanino yun yung point nito ni John Eva, Angelica and Wiggers has made daming ano ito this one this one will probably just go the way of all other Vivo Max quickly erotic films this year they may have number one slot in terms of popularity on the app upon release but eventually forget I'm pretty sure that doesn't age well kasi si Eva top 10 pa rin siya sa Vivo Max hanggang ngayon eh Ah, yun yung maniwala. Punta tayong Viva Max, ha? Kailangan ko, ko para dun sa mahinang internet para mag Viva Max. Uh, wala. Dito tayo. Wala talaga. Ayop. Kaya, pause muna. Ayan, nakapakas ko tayo sa, ano, sa Viva Max. Punta tayong top 10, na. Top 10 movies. Ayun, oh, number 6 pa rin si Eva, oh. Number 8 pa kin Sena, si. Eh. Number 9, kaliwaan. Number 10, Pusoy. Ano si sabi niyo, makakalimutan si Eva? Ang tagal na lang Eva ni-release, pero na, nasa top 10 pa rin, kasabay niya si Nakiti 7. Ito yung mga, ano, siya sabi niyo, mawawala. Ito. Pero si Eva, ang tagal na dito sa top 10. Okay? Eva is a top 10 movie of all time ng Viva Max. Ano Naka-open pala Viva Box ko sa kabila. Hindi ko alam. Okay. Uh, well, ano, y- ano pa yung review natin? Uh, Puntang natin yung tier list. Uh, Eva is noon. Dito na. Seasid. Okay. Punta tayo dun sa parang pelikula talaga. The Wife. Yeah. The Wife. Punta tayo sa The Wife. Pelikula talaga siya. May kwento siya. Si Diego Loizaga bida doon. Si BBM. Let's see what the letterbox community thinks of the wife. Ito yun, diba? Denise O'Hara. Three stars. Two stars. A couple's married. Okay. At least... The Wife has some favorable reviews. Let's see. Six, two stars. So, two stars. Ito yung pinamataas na, no? Wala siyang, ano, average. Oh, man. Couple's marriage gets tainted when, the, as their husband cheats. How can the wife take her husband's dying plea to be with her and his mistress at the remaining days of his life? Ah, uh, yun. Ah, uh, Luis de los Reyes stars in this adult film with Diego Loizaga as a couple's marriage. gets tainted as the husband cheats. In the film, Diego play De Los Reyes plays Mara, a woman who finds out that her husband, Chris, cheated her. It's not revealed how she found out about the pair, but 
her husband eventually admits to it. Determined to save their marriage, blah blah blah. Tay sa dulo. A bit that should be more be stereotypes. Well, acted slightly directed, empowering. Ayan. It's far from the sexy adult drama that even Max advertising it to be, but it turns out to be better. So, I think the misconception dito sa Taya is I mean, Taya sa The Wife is sexy siya. No, the sexy part is only provided by Kara. De Los Reyes did all the acting. She did all the, ano yun, hard carrying for this movie. Okay? So, talaga movie siya. May kwento talaga siya. Hindi siya yung masasabi mo na power the porn lang. Bad and sick as usual. Sino? One half. Oh, ito. Five star. Oh. The wife is surprisingly brilliant. Has one of the best and most satisfying ending in Philippine cinema I've ever seen. See? See? I, he gets the message. Maganda rin yung ending ng The Wife. Eh. Namatay, namatay nga si Diego, pero nakabubon si Mara. Diba? Ah, uh, yeah. It's a shame di ko makikita yung ano. There's not enough rating to calculate the average. Pero pinakamarami niya is two stars. Okay, uh, punta tayo sa... Ano gusto natin tingnan? Ano gusto natin? Iskandalo? Iskandalo is a series, right? <laughs> Wala pang iskandalo. <laughs> AJ Raval. Hugas. Ay, di, wag muna ito. E- exciting to eh. Ex- alam ko na yung rating dito eh. Tinitingnan ko pala yung poster, alam ko na eh. Kaliwaan tayo. It has 6-2 star rating, 4-1 star rating, 3-1 star rating, 2-1. Okay. Boogie almost kills the man and his girlfriend, Monica, hook up with. This cop uncle helped him hide. But unknown to him, he's been putting justice into their own hands. Di buka to Well, yeah, this belongs to my... I just watched it for the plot list. But seriously, I wasn't expecting torture porn. It gives so another run for <laughs> torture. Oh, kasi hinati yung tenga ni Vince Rillon dito eh. Kaliwan starts off very promising, but struggle to keep its focus until the correct. Aside from the usual, it has been performing since inception. Kaliwan offers something bloody new and messy. Very positive. Positive yung mga comments dito sa kaliwaan. Silip sa apoy. Ay, sa pato. <laughs> Pick at the pot. Puta <laughs> ng title to. Take a peek at, uh, uh, at the life of the happy outside. Uh, 2.8? Ang taas, ha? Uh, compared sa mga, ano, sa mga nakukuha ko, 0.6, 2. Itong pinamataas, malapit siya sa 3. Mas nataasan pa niya yung, ano, yung Eva, saka yung, ano, The Wife, 2.8. Decent erotic movie with nice sexy climax could have been better. Correct. Silip Sapa is the right amount of good narrative and sex that is culturally hot and season. It pays homage to Peke Galiaga's erotic masterpiece called Scorpion Nights. I've said that in my review. Silip Sapoy is this generation's Scorpion Nights. Kasi nga, yung plot talaga, it mirrors Scorpion Nights. Yung sumisilip as kabit, di ba? And ayun, Ricky Lee's Grave is solid, Mac Alejandre, Another Sex Light, 80s, yeah, yung pang, ano, it pays well homage sa mga classic 80s na bold films dati. It was a weak third act, pero kailangan kasi, mabuhay si, Ange- si ano, itong si Angelic Kang. Kasi nga, na, ewan ko, nabuhay si Sid for some reason. Yun yung pangit sa pelikula to eh. Pinat- in-establish at pinatay si, Sid- si Ben, si Sid Lucero, asawa ni Kang. Pero biglang nag-Wolverine power siya, tapos sa buhay sa dulo. Eh, yun. I can handle the truth. One star. By year, picture. See? Female nudity film ng 2000s. Movie backups. Good job! Good job, uh, Silip Sapoy. Uh, never expected that. Uh, Virgin Forest. 
Yeah, ito na, Virgin Forest. 6 2 star rating. To be fair, I gotta say that this must be brilliant. Most worth for effort that he's done with Bebop him so far since his focus as well is to crack more into the commercial mainstream. They disturbed me a bit, which is something. Reminded me of. Okay, one star. Hindi po ito remake ng Virgin Forest si Peke Galyaga. There's an original Virgin Forest. I'm not sure. Okay. Ito di ko alam. I actually really like the outline of the story. A political journalism discourse reality of suffering. Look, I'm not a moralist, but yeah, okay. Yeah, good job. I was expecting way worse. Okay, Katie, let's go to more recent entries. Uh, let's go. Uh, what it, check that in mga pelikula ni Ayana. Ayana mi Sola. Ayana mi Sola, let's go with Quincenas. <laughs> One star of boot. <laughs> well, it seems uh, Joko Diaz didn't help that much. Yeah, things are just crazy. Everything in this film is the sex didn't. Well, in defense for it, Ayana, ang katandem niya si Joko Diaz, which is 50 years old. <laughs> uh, put it dito si ano more recent to. Wow, my five star. While plot and still acting, and even facing terrible right, it's not worth your time. It is a surprise, but the pay up one star. I have some complaint about Ang Babayo. First, the acting ayan is so flat in all scenes, and then overall, it's the best Filipino comic adaptation. This deserves to be seen. Ha! Ayaw niya kay Ayana, pero maganda yung experience niya. Yes, I've seen the original 1918 version of this comic adaptation of the film is silly and campy. Right! Yung espiritu ni Olivia, dilaw na mark, dilaw na highlighter eh. This second of the straightforward, doesn't shy away from nudity the story needed. I had a great time watching this gem. Overall, best Filipino comic book adaptation. Okay, so he has, may five stars siya. Wow! Ilan yung pinamataas? Two stars? I was that it was actually a psychological horror film. I'm saying this in this review. It was a horror film. Mix of sexual and they sexualize it. To give clear this isn't a dumb porno release like most Viva Max releases. The narrative had some meat in it and the cinematography was excellent. Ooh. Albeit the non existent story and character development meant that it was mostly unrealized potential. And this is one of the biggest frustrations in this film. It had all the elements to be watchable, maybe even great, but the film had hardly laid down the story elements without care for context. Backstory. Yeah, yung backstory ng multo ni Olivia, it got downplayed. I failed to mention that on my review. Alam lang natin, yaya siya, that that's it. As ginahasa siya ng tatay ni, ano, ni Albina, and that's, yeah, that's practically it. Yeah. Wow. Ano yung ano? Ano yung <laughs> Ito talaga eh, kinsena si puta. <laughs> One star. <laughs> okay, putahe. Lol, pinagpapatay ko muna ng mga yagit porket nakaiyot ng rich kid. Ayan, <laughs> three star. Sa pornhub ko na lang, sana binay yung Viva Max subscription ko. <laughs> putahe is a lot of things. Yet, 3.5 Hmm Okay, uh, Janelle T Look, we're not gonna get most of them. Let's go to the app uh, You know what? Tingnan natin yung ano, yung kusoy <laughs> In the latest Viva Max original Vince Ano nangyari? Alas isang oras, naglalala sila ng kusoy Pusoy pa yung 7 of the plot. One third of them were just flashes and smudged together with no color in this situation. I compress it to 12. Ang problema kasi ng pusoy, in-expect natin, si Kang saka si Vince yung mag-hook up. 
Pero nangyari si Kang sa kasi Baron Geisler yung naghuhukap. And yung eksena nila ni Baron Geisler, parehas lang sa eksena ni Baron Geisler sa ni Janel T. So yeah, you can compress it. Ano nga ba rating ko sa Pusoy? It's an all-nighter for me. Kasi ibang, ibang tao ako eh. Ano ako eh, I went there for the scenes. Yes, there are good scenes, but if you're in the letterbox perspective, I can see why they're giving it a poor rating. Kasi, the scenes are recycled, it's just that it was a different actress that was portraying it. You get that? Yeah. Okay, secrets. Ha? Huh? Taas ah. I'm really surprised to see Jose Mabira in the opening credits write and direct this for Viva Max. Even if I've known Reyes for just using sex and unity when it goes for it, and I've known him for continuing that and focus on more on the tension and drama. Our couple's relationship on the rocks. Tignan nga natin sa dulo in, in view. Despite, yeah. Well. Eh, medyo mataas ah. Medyo mataas compared sa mga iba pang Viva Max movie. Pero yung Quincenas talaga eh. <laughs> yung Quincenas talaga. Hayop na rating yan, yung Quincenas. <laughs> okay, let's go to our main event. <laughs> Hugas! Tingnan natin yung score. <laughs> Tanda na na! Galing! <laughs> Note to Sam, never give Viva Max the benefit of the doubt ever again. Honestly, I'm just proud of myself or not being horny enough to enjoy this. Support local. The local film. But support not ko to pinood. <laughs> Ito four star. Ano to nag... Based on the ano, yung mga emoji. Yeah, based on the emoji, nagtotroll lang tong kumag na to. Tingnan nga tayo yung comment. Ano talaga nagtotroll eh? <laughs> Matali naman pagdating eh. <laughs> She's just trolling, guys. She's trolling. Hugas did not talk about climate change. Hugas did not talk about oppression. Did not talk about patriarchy. Did not talk about racism. Did not talk about homophobia. Hugas is just... Bold, incarnate. This is clearly a troll comment. As kayo, nagpaniwala naman kayo. <laughs> yeah. Kuning nga natin screenshot itong kuno na to. Ito na yung thumbnail natin, ayop. Yan. <laughs> Ito yung thumbnail natin, hugas. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah. Ganda na main event natin, no? Hugas. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I should go.